Should I do a mini kind of order or should I just go? Because I have the Blizzard Mountain one, right? It's like an international something, right? Yep, there it is. That's the Blizzard Mountain one. Yep, I got them all then. I found a bunch of heavy metal tapes in the glove box. If you want to, you know, headbang. Wayne's World, Wayne's World, part of time, excellent. So, I did a bit of background on this one. <laughs> Turns out the guy imported it to modify for the Australian touring car circuit. Never finished it, but at least he saved it from a life of going round in circles all day on a NASCAR track. Hey, fuck you, NASCAR tracks are great. No? Over there? In the chat? Yeah, I've got like three messages. Unless I'm taking this like the first Dino, Dino, right? Dino, a 246 GT with the bigger engine. Runs as smooth as it did the day it rolled off the production line. It took a little while to get that smell out of the seats, though. Ugly car. Never was a fan of the, D of the Dinos. This thing didn't just win Le Mans. That same year, 49, it won the Targa Florio and the Mille Miglia as well. Hence, 166MM. This hey. is what it's like to be a car hey. nerd. With this much horsepower, you will rule the wasteland. I asked the Horizon people if I could put on some spikes and crossbows and a flamethrower, but they said no. Yeah. Remember that suitcase we found on the roof? It was full of clothes from the 50s. Someone must have shipped this thing out just after the war. Talk about a blast from the past. You have to understand, this isn't just a car. This is a changing room. It's, it's a mobile surf club. It's a, it's a drive-in cinema. It's a one-bedroom flat. It's an institution. You know what I found when I started working on it? The entire frame was twisted. That's how much talk this thing has off the line. <laughs> Brings a proud tear to your eye, doesn't it? There it is, the FX Ute. The beginning of two fine Australian traditions. Putting trays on the backs of muscle cars and abbreviating words that don't really need abbreviating. This thing was so quick back in the 60s that every crook had one for a getaway car. So the police started driving them too. See? Car culture. Bringing people together since 1959.
You have no idea what a nightmare it was finding parts for this thing. Guess now we know why the previous owner gave up on it. Still, runs like a dream now. It's all yours. Actually, it shouldn't be that hard to find parts for it, because all it had was a Lamborghini Countach V12 and a Lamborghini Diablo fuel injection, so... In terms of engine parts, it shouldn't be too difficult. The Pininfarina Berlinetta. They made four of these. Four, that's it. And now we're standing in front of one. I'm telling you, this feeling is what I live for. Only a 1.5 litre engine, but a full fiberglass body, so it weighs nothing. Should go like the clappers. And it's street legal. What are you waiting for? They nicknamed the V-Spec Godzilla. Something about being Japanese and monstering the competition. I don't know. I think it's just misunderstood and needs to be loved. Big market for Japanese imports out here. Yes. Being so close, it's pretty cheap. Been a barbecue day. Of course, it's cheaper and easier to find one in a barn, but we can't all be that lucky. Not a bad job, if I do say so myself. Ready to take it out for a spin? I know it's only got three wheels. I know you only need a motorbike license to drive one. I know it was a running joke on British telly, but... You know, I just can't help but love this thing. All right, we shouldn't laugh, but you know what I think happened to this one? Someone left the top down in a storm. Rain fried all the electrics. But you're not going to do that, are you? Are you? My dad had one of these. Never took it off-road, never got it dirty, never drove it much faster than 50. That's probably why I take after my mum. There it is. Volvo 1800E. Fuel-injected engine, 130 brake horsepower, 0 to 60 in 9.6 seconds. Oh, and it's the car Roger Moore drove in the Saint. Yep, you heard that right. Okay. 